Every year, August 7th is a day for Americans to remember and honor the brave men and women who were either wounded in combat or sacrificed their life, as today marks Purple Heart Day. One organization called the Purple Heart Mission is holding a multi-day salute to service that brings together Purple Heart heroes. Here to talk about this more is two-time Purple Heart recipient and board member for the National Purple Heart Honor Mission, Dan Clarino. Thank you for your service and thank you for joining us. Thank you, uh, Stephanie, and good morning. Good morning. Uh, let me give you kind of a little background of who we are and what we have planned for today and for the, the near future. The National Purple Heart Mission is dedicated to paying tribute to the, to the nation's wounded through special outreach and education programs. Our organization is the driving force behind the Purple Heart Hall of Honor, which is located right here in New Windsor uh, in, uh, at the site of the last encampment of Washington's uh, Continental Army back in 1782. In fact, I'm sitting right across the street from it. Uh, I have a real estate office and uh, I built it out last year as part of the site, not part of the site, but across the street from the site. So I'm watching a $17 million renovation uh, occurring right now. So it's very inspiring. Uh, the Purple Heart uh, uh, is the oldest military decoration uh, in the country. In fact, it started uh, 238 years ago, right here in Newburgh, when George Washington gave three uh, awards to three uh, Revolutionary War soldiers. And in those days, it was called the Badge of Military Merit. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it looked like. Uh, they sewed that on the uniforms of the, of, the, of the soldiers, the three of them actually, for uh, gallantry. There was no other movement on that award for 150 years. In fact, it wasn't until uh, General MacArthur uh, became the uh, Army Secretary and he decided he wanted to expand all the awards, including the Purple Heart. And in 1932, he created what is today the Martin Purple Heart. We did get this right. The Martin Purple Heart. Uh, there you go. There we go. You can, see, you can see the image of George Washington on that. Uh, today, uh, I would encourage everyone, uh, if they have an opportunity, to visit our site uh, uh, on Facebook. Uh, because we're at 11 o'clock, we're going to go back to Washington's headquarters, where George Washington first gave this award, and do a, a program and a ceremony. Uh, it'll be live at 11 o'clock. Uh, it's a program that I think you'll find worthwhile. And it's so rewarding because it's right at the site where, uh, where George Washington uh, created this uh, precursor to the Purple Heart. Uh, we have a lot of challenges with uh, our mission. Uh, not the least of which is uh, there's 1.8 million people have been uh, recognized with the Purple Heart uh, uh, Award. Uh, but there's no clear record. And we have to reach out, and that's what I'm trying to do today, to find uh, and, sense and increase the word that we need people who may have been awarded the Purple Heart to visit our site, which is thepurpleheart.org because they need to, and we encourage them to take a look at our site. And if they qualify uh, for the Purple Heart or have the Purple Heart, we'd like them to enroll uh, so that they can be part of this very significant uh, uh, opportunity. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.